first and foremost, Happy New Year to everyone and we are starting 2023 in some style because we have the BMW 3 Series with us and this is the Grand Limousine. It is locally produced in India and it also replaces the GT if you remember. This is a long base version of the 3 Series and this one is the refreshed 2023 version. So we're going to quickly find out what is new about the Grand Limousine? So, as you can see, it has this familiar BMW face, the kidney grille right here. But the good thing about this version is that it doesn't have that, you know, exaggerated big size. So, in my opinion, it looks a lot more proportionate. And of course, it's all blacked out here. So it looks, gives you that sporty image as well. But you come down below here, the front bumper, it has been also redesigned. And you see this bigger air dams right here. And they're not just for show because they also help in cooling the braking system. Apart from that, you can see that the headlamps here, they're a lot more sleeker. They look a lot more futuristic as well. And you can see these L-shaped DRLs right here, which are integrated inside the headlamps. Now, moving forward, you come to the side profile. And the first thing that you'll see are the brand new alloy wheel set. These are the 18 inch alloys and these are the M Sport kit. So the, this comes standard here. So it's a very special look by itself. Then if you look at the side profile by itself, this is where you realize that this is a long wheel 3 series and it has that additional space right here, longer doors, a lot more space inside which we will talk about. But if you look at the silhouette as a whole, it's extremely proportionate. So from the side profile, it continues to look like a sports sedan, which the 3 series is all about. Now let's take a quick look at the rear, which has very less tweaking but still has its distinctive nature like you can see the sweeping rear lamps they are obviously leds and the rectangular shaped chrome finished exhaust it's a dual, uh, dual tone exhaust right here it's neat it's clean design it looks muscular as well and definitely looks very much like a sports sedan which the 3 series is now before we step inside the cabin let's take a look at the boot now it has an electric tailgate right here, the boot opens by itself and if you take a closer look at the luggage space, that is slightly disappointing and it is extremely limited and the reason for that is because it gets a spare wheel right here and that is the reason it eats into the space. But there's something you have to live with, here's the button, you press it and the boot is closed. So this is what the limited boot space is there in the 3 Series. It's an extremely cold day and feels really good to be inside the cabin and well, the cabin itself is luxurious, well built, it is a BMW, so you expect that. But what is new about it? Well, the first thing is the 14.9 inch infotainment system and the 12.3 inch all digital driver's console. It looks really gorgeous, but it is just so intuitive, the infotainment system. It's just like one of your smart pads. It's uh, like a device, smart device. It's so easy to use. But apart from that, it also has a couple of new uh, design tweaks. Like you see the AC vents, they're a lot more slimmer and it comes with the brand new iDrive system, which continues to be extremely, extremely user friendly. Oh, and how can we forget? There is no gear stick anymore. So that joystick is no more there. It's got a toggle uh, uh, setup right here. So it's like a bit of a controversial thing for me because I prefer uh, the gear stick, but if it's for convenience, if it makes sense, well, there you have it right there. So that also helps you. In terms of also features, it comes with uh, a parking uh, distance control. So what basically it means is that you have sensors in front and rear. And if some object um, appears or you come across uh, in the front corner, the rear corner, or even the side, the speakers accordingly, they give out the warning beep sign. So in, in case like it's in the front right hand side corner, then the speakers start activating the warning signals. So that's something which 
is helpful because then you are focused and you know exactly what is there apart from that the rest of the stuff is pretty much the same the seats are extremely uh, comfortable and uh, something that uh, the standard 3 series uh, doesn't get are these additional additional thigh supports that you get here so that is something that is helpful so this is something additional you get in the grand limousine so it is a very luxurious place to be in but the grand limousine is all about comfort in the back and that is what we're going to talk about next so what is the usp of the grand limousine well you just have to see to believe there's just so much space and this easily is the best in the segment i'm going to just stretch my leg it's still a lot of space it's a spacious place to be in but apart from that the seats they've retained the seats they're extremely comfortable the angle in which the seat is the seat squab is it is very natural position to sit and at the same time it has good under thigh support that is something that many cars lack but not the 3 series grand uh, limousine now we have pulled the armrest down but if you just put it back up it is a so called 3 seater and ps 3 adults can sit there's enough shoulder room as well but the central tunnel here it is extremely raised it is very tall so that is something that one has to keep in mind when they sit then you obviously have your uh, climate control temperature now this climate control system is a three zone so the rear passengers can control the temperature right here and uh, so it's spacious it's comfortable and it definitely is luxurious and yes uh, you get the usual uh, connectivity features you have wireless charger in front you have your wireless uh, apple uh, carplay android auto and uh, you have two usb type c right here one usb type c is inside the armrest and you have the old fashioned uh, traditional usb port in front underneath the uh, ac control so a lot of connectivity a lot of features and uh, definitely a lot of technology available in the car and oh yes if you are a music buff it continues to be equipped with a 16 speaker hum garden music system so yeah it gets a thumbs up from us So we are driving the 330 Li, and uh, that is the petrol. This is powered by a 2-liter 255 bhp petrol engine, uh, and it is actually very comfortable. It has more than enough power. It's not just for your daily commute. If you want to even cruise on the highway, if you want to suddenly, you know, uh, change your driving, uh, your driving mood changes from just. uh in the city mode to your a little bit more power you want well that offers that as well so the comfort mode has pretty much everything that you need of course there is the sport mode that's where you know things become a lot more pacier um the suspension setup becomes a lot more stiffer as well even uh, you can feel the additional weight on the steering wheel and that just brings in a lot more involvement and that sort of driving experience is also available on top of that being a bmw it gives you options to uh, change the setup of your steering wheel of your suspension setup so in whatever way in whatever mood you want to drive this car is gives you those options and uh, coming to the engine the 255 bhp of output you step on the gas and this i'm just talking about in the comfort comfort mode it just picks up pace uh yes in a linear fashion but not really in a lethargic fashion so that is something that is spot on now if you just change the sport yes everything goes red but you just want to step on the gas and feel the 255 horses you know running galloping and uh, that feedback that you get that is just brilliant that's when you realize that this is actually a sports salon or a sports sedan it offers you mix of everything this right now i'm just going to step on the gas there you see there 
now that is sport mode for you so it's nothing subtle about it but i just can't stop grinning or smiling so that kick that it offers that is brilliant that roar that it offers wow the people around me they just stopped and looked so anyways uh in terms of ride quality it is brilliant the grand uh the grand limousine always offered very very good uh ride quality and continues to do so it goes over potholes and it goes over uh ditches very very easily even when it goes over speed breakers uh the rear passengers they all it they just get a very cushioned uh, ride quality so it is i think one of the best in the segment and uh, in terms of handling yes it is not razor sharp as the standard 3 uh, series but you got to keep in mind that the standard 3 series has a, you know has it's like in a different level altogether in a different league altogether the benchmark is so high so a little bit of body roll from the grand uh, limousine it's not really going to affect your driving experience in any which ways it still remains very involving it still is uh, very much a driver's car driver oriented car and even if you compare it to the uh, competition it's still way ahead of them and here we just go over yeah we just go over a ditch and again we go over a pothole and that was a deep pothole it just goes over it carpets it without any issues without any stress and the best part is the rear passengers do not suffer any spine busting sort of an experience so this car is really a very good all rounder very sensible car and has different different options and it'll cater to everybody's needs and requirements So we all know the USP of the 3 series Grand Limousine is the rear passenger space, comfort and luxury. Now it's packed with a brand new infotainment system and a all digital driver's console. The one that we drove that is a 330 Li, that's a petrol one, is packed by a 255 bhp uh output and it is really nippy. It's great to drive, continues to be a very very good handler yes it might not be a razor sharp handler like the standard 3 but you will not be disappointed at all it is an all rounder it is actually very decent car to opt for and on top of that there is no other car in this segment that offers so much of space so if you're in the market for a luxury vehicle with space then this is the one to opt out for and if you haven't already subscribed to our channel please do so and